Cat 3, 1500 volts. What does that mean? Why is that significant? Why do you, a solar professional, need a Fluke 283 multimeter and clamp meter rated as highly as that? Let's face it, few of us truly understand cat ratings, but when it comes to installing PV systems, that's solar panels, you must pay attention to these ratings. To explain why and talk to us about Fluke's innovative Cat3 1500 rated 283 solar digital multimeter and A283 solar current clamp is Mark Sherwood, Fluke's senior technical sales manager for the UK and Ireland. So, welcome Mark. And before we start talking about these tools and the world of cat ratings, please could you tell us why it's important that electricians invest in solar tools if they're going to be installing solar installations? Like, why can't they use like a regular digital multimeter? Okay, that's a good question. And thanks for asking it. We've launched the new 283 multimeter uh, because it primarily voltages are different. Domestic circuits work at one voltage and then solar installations can work at a slightly higher voltage. That's the simple answer to that one. In this instance with the 283, and the reason we've launched it is because we know that more and more solar installations are now working up to 1500 volts DC. Yeah. So what we've done is we've launched the world's first 1500 volt Cat3 multimeter. All right, so let's talk about Cat ratings. Keith, could you tell us what they are, what they mean and why they're significant? Okay, well, cat ratings are there to protect the instrument and to protect the user. And it's one of those. It's as simple as that. It's all about protection and the contact that you make to those pieces of equipment as well. Mm -hmm. So what we have to do is make sure the meter is capable of withstanding those ratings and safely protecting itself and you. So not only is it the meter, it's also the test leads and the protection around yourself as well. And that's where category ratings clearly identify what tools shouldn't be used within those boundaries. Great. And so the, the Fluke tools we're talking about today are the Fluke 283 digital multimeter and the A283 uh, solar current clamp meter. That's right. Um, and they're both rated Cat3 1500 volts. Yes. So could you tell us why that's so innovative? Why is, why is it groundbreaking? Okay, well, first of all, instruments typically only have gone to 1000 volts, yeah, with the mm -hmm. protection levels. And they could be up at cat four. But to take it to that higher level there and increase the voltage where customers need to operate at 1500 volts, we've given them a cat three safety rating, basically, which is for the unit, as I say, and the test leads as well, because most solar installations are operating up to those thresholds there and the customers need to have the meters. Anything with a lower value wouldn't be able to work on that system and also provide the relevant safety. And that's why Fluke has bought this unit to market. If you click the box above now, you can download the Fluke 283 Solar Digital Multimeter and Current Clamp Spec Sheet, which includes even more detail about cat ratings. But do come back because next we're going to be talking about the capabilities and advantages of these tools. Uh, so aside from their impressive cat rating, uh, what advantages and capabilities do these tools offer? Okay, well, again, the unit itself is housed in a typical build quality you'd expect from a Fluke meter with those relevant safety standards there. It's tried to become a dedicated solar tool, but we've also added some unique features in there as well. Um, one of the nicest features that we have is the ability to do a pre-check before you go to work on these test voltages as well. The 283 has that inbuilt into it, and what it can actually do is go through a pre-check to make sure that the full functionality of the unit is working first. So you're able to just go through that procedure on initial setup by connecting the test leads together and it will give you a full safety check that not only does a meter, but the lead safe to use as well. That's one of the most innovative features that we've added to the 283. On top of that, yes, it's a clear display. It's robust. It's got that high safety ratings as we've just mentioned there. It's Fluke Connect enabled, which means again, it can communicate with the Fluke Connect app and we can also capture those results and uh, take note of them or trend them using the features available within the app. It can capture results as well by way of logging. So again, whilst you're on these solar installations, you may need to walk distances between. That's able to capture and log and record min and max values as well. On top of that, you mentioned obviously the current clamp that's available with this as well, the A283 current clamp. This one could go up to 60 amps, which again covers more than sufficient that would be needed for generally a solar typical installation as well. And as we can see here, there's a little ability to connect this via Fluke Connect to the device as well. So there's no need to have any leads trailing between the two. There's a connection that's established between both and that what it receives here 
it can obviously visually represent on screen there as well. So again, uh, yeah, I was going to ask about the wireless capability actually and what benefits that presents. Okay. Well, like everything, when there's a trailing lead, it can limit, obviously, where you can connect it as well. With this one, you have a little bit more freedom to obviously keep that hands-free entanglement that you might face by obviously having the leads between the two meters. And again, with the large jaw clamp that we have at the top and the ability to uh, remotely see the results on screen gives it a lot more niche safety aspect to that as well. So could you theoretically place that, place the clamp in place and then walk off and still reach... Still see the reading. Yes, 100%. That's like purely exactly what it's designed to do. A lot of these have power supply units and the, the power is feeding through to this close proximity where the panels are, but the multimeter might need to be obviously at a, a slightly different location. So as long as you're in a close proximity, then yes, you'll be able to read the result clearly on uh, screen. How close is close? The uh, quick answer to that one is 10 meters. What we like to refer to is it's almost line of sight, close proximity. So we uh, we basically are saying 10 meters for either the... Uh, 283 multimeter to have that connectivity or from the clamp to the Flute Connect app. So the A283 clamp yeah. is CAT3 1500 volts rated, but it only measures up to 60 amps. So so what's the what's the point in such a high rating? Okay. The, the, the rating there is obviously a voltage rating and the amp, obviously the other one is an ampage. Yeah. So it's limited to ampage, but the safety rating is on the voltage that can be carried up to there on a CAT3 standard. Okay. So considering the capabilities and obviously their cap ratings of these of these tools. Um, to whom or for what would you recommend them? Okay, well, there's some very good features in this. The, the meter itself was, I'll call it loosely designed to work in the solar industry because of the 1500 volts that yeah. it's rated to for the Cat 3, as we've said. But it's also a very, very strong multimeter in its own merit with the functionality of a non-connected wireless clamp in there, which is great up to 60 amps, like we've said. You've still got the Cat4 safety ratings of 1,000 volts of Cat4, if that's necessary as well, outside of the solar industry for the Cat3 1,500 volts. There's a limit gauge in here as well, which is one of the really nice features of this meter. What you can do is set in the various threshold limits so that should it be below or above, you can actually get that to alarm and prove itself on the screen. And that will do it by not only just a visual representation where the screen will go red, but it will also give you an audible tone to that as well. So if you're looking not to exceed a threshold or if you're not looking to drop below a threshold value, that alarm feature is really, really useful for people to have in the electrical industry as well. So there's some really nice bespoke features as well as the Flute Connect and the logging capabilities of the meter. So would it be suitable for installing like small solar in uh, systems as well as big fields of... Sure. Yeah, exactly. It's designed for no matter what the application, the, vo the voltage threshold is there and the 60 amp limit is there too. So almost irrespective of what you're doing, you should be operating in most instances within those two parameters. Remember, box above for the spec sheet. Alternatively, click the links in the description to visit our web listings where you'll also find an option to purchase. Next, we're going to find out what kind of return and investment you can expect from the Fluke 283 digital multimeter and clamp. Now, solar professionals, they might be thinking, yeah, but I already have a digital multimeter and I love it. So, why should I shell out again for a Fluke 283 just because it's got a better Cat 3 rating? What would you say to those people? Okay, well, again, if you're serious about going into the solar industry, you need the right tools for doing the job. And as these solar farms, the newer they are, the chances are that they're going to be operating at at least 1,500 volts. And if they are at that threshold, then obviously your existing meters just won't be up to the task you need to take a meter that's rated up to the 1500 volts and it's got the relevant safety ratings. And that's where the 283FC has that safety rating and has the capabilities of testing up to those voltages. So it's almost like an investment in your business's future to, to buy one of these. 100%. You're investing in the future because more and more panels are only going to move in that direction as they handle more voltage and more current. Great. So um, considering everything we talked about today, is there anything else you think we should know about the Fluke 283 digital multimeter and current clamp? Or, or do you have any real, words, real world stories that you can tell us about? OK, well, other things to note is obviously the meter itself comes with the clamp, as we spoke about here, which is a very good solid clamp. The connectability is fantastic. The alarms work amazing. They actually do. The self-check is unique on this meter as well. The test leads are now how the twist ones, so they're actually rated to both 1500 volts Cat 3 and 1000 volt Cat 4 as well. So you've got the ability to rotate between the two. They have the MC4 adapters as part of the kit as well. And should you want to buy just the meter, 
you can buy just the meter. Okay. Or if you want to buy it with the clamp, you can buy that. And then obviously as a full kit together. So there are options here that you can build on. Great. And so if you were to sum up these two tools in three words, what would they be? Okay. Well, reliable, accurate, and extremely safe. Thank you, Mark. That was that was very insightful. Thank you. I hope we've cleared up the mystery of cat ratings and clarified why solar professionals need Flute's Cat 3 1500 rated 283 solar digital multimeter and A283 wireless current clamp. For more information about these products, please click the links in the description where you'll also find an option to purchase. This video is just one of our many Fluke videos, so do check out the others. If you're interested in solar, why not watch our interview with Mark about Fluke's SMFT 1000 multifunction tester? Other than that, do subscribe, as that way all future videos will come straight to you without you having to do a thing, so you'll never miss an important development. All right, thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.